This is Math 99, um, practice test number three. This is problem number nine. And in this problem, uh, we're given this table. The situation is someone has thrown a, uh, launched a ball up into the air. After so many seconds, this is how, um, how high it is. So after one second, it's 73. Three, it's 115. Five, it's 29. Um, we know that the, um, the relationship between the time and the height can be modeled with this quadratic equation a t squared plus b t plus c equals h and um, we've been asked to write a system from this data and then solve that system in order to write an equation that models the relationship between t and h so let's let's do that um, so one piece at a time then um, the first piece of data is when t is 1 h is 73 so let's plug that into the equation. So when h is 73, uh, t is 1. So this would be um, a times uh, 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. And notice that that's the same as the equation. Um, 1 squared is just 1, so a plus b plus c equals 73. All right, let's take a peek at the, uh, at the next one then. The next data is when t is 3, h is 115. So let's plug that into the equation. So when h is 115, t is 3. So it's a times t squared plus b times t plus c. So that would translate into uh, 3 squared is 9. So 9a plus 3b plus c equals 115. And then if we look at that last data point, that will give us our third equation when t is 5, h is 29. So we'll plug that into the equation. Uh, h is 29. When uh, t is 5, so that would be 5 squared plus b times 5 plus c. So that would translate into the equation. 5 squared is 25. So 25a plus 5b plus c equals 29. Great, so here's our system of equations right here, that if we solve it, we'll know what a, b, and c are, we can plug them back into the equation, and we'll know our, um, our relationship between t and h. So let me make myself a little space here, I'm gonna erase this work. And the way that I'm gonna solve it, I could, you can do it all by hand if you want. Um, the directions say you can use calculator. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to write this as a matrix. My matrix would be, sorry about that. My matrix would be um, 1, 1, 1, 73, and um, 9, 3, 1, 1, 15, and then 25, 5, 1, 29. I'm going to enter it in my calculator. I'm going to call it A. And then I'm going to use that reduce row echelon form command to get my answer. And if I do that on my calculator, it spits out. Let me do it. Um, this matrix 1, 0, 0, negative 16, 0, 1, 0, 85. 0, 0, 1, uh, 4. So there's my A value, there's my V value, there's my C value. So if I um, want to write the relationship then, I know what A, B, and C are, and I'll just change the color so it, so it shows up. So my relationship would be H equals, let's see, A is negative 16. So negative 16 T squared, uh, B is 85 plus 85t, and c is 4, plus 4. So that is the relationship. That's the quadratic that would spit out those values. And if I wasn't sure, I could plug that in my calculator and check it, make sure, or just plug in the values. When t is 1, uh, h will be 73. When t is 3, h will be 115, and so on. All right?